Hi, I'm Marisol Nichols. Nice to meet you guys. I play Hermione Lodge, mother of Veronica Lodge, on People's Choice Awards winner for Best Drama 2018, Riverdale. Get back in line with this family because you are a lodge before anything else. Since you play a mom on Riverdale, we're gonna show you clips from your co-stars from both Riverdale and their careers playing young people to see how you would parent them both as your character and as yourself. Okay, like I'm their parents. Aren't you supposed to be showing me a good time for daddy's orders? No thanks. Come on, it'll be fun. I said no, V. Okay, relax, buddy. This is strictly voluntary. Okay, so first of all, she's grounded. Hermione's parenting advice to Betty would depend on what Hermione can get out of it. She's horrible right now. Right now, she would tell Veronica, be careful about isolating Betty. You may need her in the future. I'm more like first season Hermione, so I would tell Betty, well done. I'm gonna like take you shopping and let you pick out whatever you want for not, uh, taking the drugs and all that, and then let's talk and let's figure out how you can handle it even more next time, because maybe you can help some of your other friends not take them as well. Everything. Everything. Yeah. 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 Everything. I forgot how good 90210 was. Hermione would tell Brenda, what are you getting out of your relationship? You need to plan ahead of where you want to go. Good or bad, that's what Hermione <laughs> believes in. I would tell Brenda, don't listen to your boyfriend telling you that the only thing you feel is afraid and therefore it's not real. If you're afraid, you're afraid for a reason. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, I like this when I did it for love. Now I'm doing it for money and I feel dirty. Just keep out of my way and stay over there. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cute. This is so cute. I get why now he has screaming, screaming. Teenage fans. I'm like, okay, I get it. If I was eight, I'd be like, oh my God. Hermione was, would have said, Cody, you go for the egg first. Because then the flower will stick to it and it'll create a better effect overall. I'd be like, boys, boys, stop. Stop right there. We're gonna take a time out. I would have said like, Zach, go to your room. Cody, go take a walk. Chill. And then I would have said, you're gonna clean up this kitchen within an inch of your life. <sighs> Sorry, please understand. I love this what? movie. I have a girlfriend who would rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me. Between us, you haven't been the same since... since your mother died. Sid. I am sorry if my traumatized life is an inconvenience to you and your perfect existence. No, I love it. It makes me want to watch Scream again. Look at Skeet, he's such a baby. Hermione would advise Sydney, you need to put that boy in his place. He's not respecting your feelings. He's not thinking about you and what you're going through. So you either need to toss him to the curb or put him in his place. My advice to Sydney would be, I think your boyfriend is not understanding what you're going through and you need to ask him to give you some space. Have him give you a week, like just to let you chill out. And if not, then maybe he's not the right guy for you. Marissa, what do you want? You, me, prom. I'm already going with <laughs> Maddie. Ditch that pidge and come with me. Are you high? A little, but that doesn't mean I don't mean what I say. Let me take off those tiny whiteys. Mm. Madeline! No. Hermione would tell Madeline, be careful, honey. Don't give it all away just yet. Give a little tease. You don't want to tell him that you're going to take off your, his tidy whiteys, but you want to give him the impression so he starts fantasizing. I would say you really want to go to prom with this boy? Like, seriously, you can probably get anyone. Don't be so desperate. So what was the fight about with you and Jack? It's none of your business. No, it is my business. It's big sister business. 
Well, Jack's your best bud and he's backed you through a lot, Kane. Try to kiss me. Jack? Yes, Jack. Okay, I don't see that coming. Yeah, nor did I. What if Jack came up to you, sat you down, and was like, hey, bro, I'm gay? What would you have done then? I don't know. Jack got it wrong, but he's still a friend. It's interesting how, um, just the whole subject matter, how New Zealand deals with sort of the the gay storyline as opposed to America. Even if the guy is a bad guy, you could never say that now. Hermione would probably say, well, what did you do to lead your friend on? Why would he think that he could kiss you then? And you didn't pick up on any of the signs, really? Marisol would react very similar to the sister and just say, okay, well, look, can't you just talk to him? Talk to your friend who has probably years of friendship there and just talk to him. You owe him that. Audrey, honey, let me tell you something I learned. Let me tell you something I learned. <laughs> in this world, you're either up on the stage in the spotlight, or you're down in the pit serving drinks. What was this dance? That, Go that... Some fun. So funny. That was a stunt double climbing because I'm terrified of heights. And I was like, yeah, I'm not climbing up there. I'm starting my vacation! <laughs> gonna break a lot of hearts. I was so scared. I was so scared. I was terrified because I don't like heights and it's really high and it's a tiny little platform. And so they strapped a thing around my, around up here and they had a string just in case I fell. That was the first movie I ever did in my life. I had never been on a set ever of a film. Not even as an extra, nothing. Hermione's advice would be like, darling, unbutton some of the buttons, relax, maybe tape, tape you know, tape it open. Give yourself some, you know, cleavage a little bit. I would say good for you for trying something that, that's new and scary and you're dancing and, and you're having fun. Vicky, where's Audrey? Oh, yeah. I was really at home in that cage, I'm just saying. Let's go, young lady. Excuse me. Excuse me. I hated that dress so much. You breathed and it looked like you had a tummy. Like, I remember like, okay, well, can't go to lunch. Can't have dinner. Can't drink any water. But it was fun. I remember I used to, you know, keep in mind, I'm 23 in real life at that time. I came from Chicago. I used to go to gay bars because they would play the best music in Chicago. And they were open till like four in the morning. And in the cage, it was just like no one bothered you. So that was kind of a little real there. Mm. Hermione would say, if you're gonna argue with the man, you back up and you make him come into the cage and get you. I would say that's not what I meant by a summer job. Are you serious? So clearly the character you play on television is very different than yeah. the person you are in real life. <laughs> I uh, hope so. A lot of our viewers are big Riverdale fans. What attracted you to the role of Hermione Lodge? I was um, I was attracted to the, to the role of Hermione because this was a woman starting over. This was sort of a fallen woman who was trying to redeem herself. It was a bit of a struggle to place someone who has questionable morals, mainly because she didn't in the beginning. And so it was so clear everything was for her daughter. And then all of a sudden it was not. And I sort of went, you know what, somehow or another, this still has to be protecting Veronica. Finally, what advice is Hermione, and as yourself, yeah. what advice would you give you know, to our viewers out there who are currently watching this episode? Just general advice. Like um, I would say Riverdale's not real. Please do not imitate the things that you see on our show. At the same time, you know, we try to, I think we try to give our characters a real life, examples of of right and wrong for the most part so i would say just pay attention to life life lessons without taking any of it too seriously remember this is larger than life thanks effie for having me today and if you have more questions or anything like that i do read almost all my comments on my social medias so the link is below feel free to follow me and ask anything you want i'll do my best to answer without spoilers thank you